Hello, my name is Scott Newman from Technical Consultants Incorporated. I'm here to make you aware of our new workbook we have out that has been updated for the ASME Y145 2009 standard. Let me take you on a virtual tour. Here are some sample pages from our brand new workbook on geometric tolerance. The workbook is co-written by Al Newman and myself, Scott Newman. The book has over a thousand graphics shown in 2D and 3D to illustrate the concept. The graphics are in full color and have been rewritten and updated to the new ASME Y145 2009 standard. The page will start to show you how to apply the geometric tolerance, the application of where to use it, and the explanation on what it means in 2D and 3D. Afterwards, the verification techniques are shown using simple measurement tools such as surface plates, height gauges, angle plates, and gauge blocks. It will show you why plus or minus tolerancing is not the best way to describe your product, the problems and misinterpretations you may have when using only the direct tolerancing method. All the graphics in full color really make them pop off the page, showing the tolerance zones very clearly. All the models have been created using 3D CAD software to really illustrate the tolerance zones sitting inside the datum reference frame. It gives guidelines on when to use MMC, LMC, and regardless of feature size when using modifiers in position. After the students get a good grasp of the concepts, they have a chance to apply their skills with workshop exercises at the end of the units. Verification is a big part of this book. The students will be shown how to inspect position correctly and generate an inspection report. Afterwards, the students will be able to apply their skills using the workshop exercises at the end of the unit. It will illustrate the simpler concepts like perpendicularity on a surface, shows the application on where to use it, the resultant tolerance zone that is created, and of course the sample inspection on how the part may be verified. Degrees of freedom is a new concept in the 2009 standard, shows how to generate degrees of freedom from different primary data. For people manufacturing a lot of round parts, we show the differences between circular runout, total runout, position, concentricity, and profile. There's always sample applications showing where you can use these different callouts and different inspection techniques for them as well. Customized datum reference frames is a new concept in the 2009 standard and has been decoded in our new workbook. Here's an exercise from Unit 6, the datum section. Well, these are actually the answers, but you won't remember these anyway. The customized datum reference frame is something that is allowed in the 2009 standard. We give applications and show where this might be useful. The translation modifier, another advanced concept found in the 2009 standard. Some of the advanced users who'd like to take their knowledge to a new level might be interested in this workbook. How to make drawings from machinings and the casting drawings was always a problem people had when applying geometric taunting. We show the machining, the resulting casting drawing that you would need. Also, we show the resultant calculations that you'll need to calculate how big the casting has to be to make sure you have enough cleanup stock. All the calculations are shown right here in our book. For people having a lot of sheet metal parts, we do a lot of geometric tolerancing on sheet metal, restrain conditions, position, profile, all can be applied to these types of parts as well. Of course, at the end of every unit, we always have the exercises to give the students practice in applying their new knowledge. The profile unilateral symbol is new for the 2009 standard, also illustrated in this workbook. For the more advanced user, we have composite profile for irregular shapes. Also showing clearly with three-dimensional CAD software what the resultant tolerance zones might look like. This is not just an advanced book, we also have the simple stuff in there also. We have the position cylindrical tolerance zones. You can see the cylindrical tolerance zones shown in red. You can cut sections in them and we can show the resultant axes of the holes inside those tolerance zones. Functional gauging is another concept that we also explain whenever we talk about position at MMC. 
Near the end of the workbook, we have a variety of case study problems for the students to uh, try and apply their tolerancing to the actual parts. Here we have a sheet metal part. We also have machine parts. This one here, the students have to fill in the feature control frames by applying position, profile, using the correct modifiers, and using the right datum feature references at the end of the feature control frames. And of course, what everybody wants to know at the end here is the appendix, the principal changes and clarifications for the new ASME Y145 2009 standard. What is the difference between the 1994 standard and the 2009 standard? That's all illustrated here in this appendix. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. For a list of all of our training products, please visit our website at www.geotile.com.